everyone. This is Janice. Welcome to my channel. I'm so glad you decided to stop by and say hi. And if you are new here, hello. I hope you enjoy my channel and you decide to subscribe. All right, today's video is going to be about the Ipsy Glam Bag Plus. I finally got it. Alrighty. Just keep on watching if you want to see what I got in this month's, which is October 2019, Ipsy Glam Bag Plus. We shall see what we got into in it. Well, actually, I opened it up because I wanted to do a try on again. That was kind of fun. I believe I did it with Boxy Charm, and I enjoyed it. I hope you did. So I got some of my makeup on. I don't have my eyeshadow on yet, and I don't have my bronzer on yet. Okay, so I tell you why in a minute. All right, they changed it up this month. They changed the box color in. The little logo which is really cute it's ipsy done in different shades i like that discover yourself and it's got the orange foam in it i thought that that's a big deal colors don't matter when it comes to just packaging i do think the box is pretty and they give you a information card this much theme is flaunt it and it says, let's start obsessing over what we love about ourselves. It is time to show off and what makes you feel beautiful. Those lips, that skin, and what better than iconic beauty muse and confidence queen, Betty Boo, to inspire you to flaunt it. I really like Betty Boo. I said this also in my Ipsy Glam Bag Ultimate. She is an icon many, many years ago. I think she was popular back in the 40s. I was born in the 50s, so I remember her. And um, when a Halloween, I actually dressed up like her. It was a lot of fun. I even had my sister do the, the waves. What were they called? Finger waves. <laughs> that was really fun. And of course I did my face like her, the red lips and then the red dress. Really cute. That's back when I was cute and thin. <laughs> oh well. And this information card, they do tell you about your products. They explain a little bit. And in this particular box, they also give you the uh, manufacturer's retail price. Manufacturer suggested retail price actually. They can charge whatever the heck they want. <laughs> but uh, this is the suggested retail price. I'm pretty sure they do. I'm wearing my glasses so you can see me better. But when I go to read it, I'll probably interchange. Well, I hope everyone's doing great. I've been doing so so. It's this fall is so wet. I don't know about you and where you're at, but it's been raining a lot and freezing cold. We got a hard frost last night, so all my plants are dead. And we had a really bad year for um, the gardens. I had beautiful tomatoes coming up, lots of them. We didn't get enough sun for them to ripe. Here I got some big green tomatoes. Not ripe. I did bring a few in and put them in the windowsill. A few of them did ripen up. And gosh, they were delicious. They're nice and meaty. And I was gonna can them. So couldn't can those, but I did can tomatoes. I had to go buy them at the farmer's market. I have been busy canning, canning, canning for the past three weeks. So I haven't been on here as often as I would like. I've been canning tomatoes, and making grape jelly, and now I'm on apples. I think that, oh, I did green beans too. So I think that's gonna be it this year. It's fun, but it's very time consuming. First thing I'm pulling out is by Dr. Brandt. It's a microdermabrasion, age defined exfoliator. Yeah, I'm gonna show you the bag. I, it's the same one we got in the ultimate bag. This one and the ultimate 
glam bag has this bag in it. It's really cute though. There's a little baby boop here with a bee. It's got a nice chain with a heart on it and the back is like a sequence. And the middle is bright red, her signature color. So definitely gonna be putting this in a giveaway. I do like it, I think it's gorgeous. Okay, I'm gonna put a lipstick, it looks like. It is by Real Her. And it says, I am adaptable. And it is a matte liquid lip. And it is in the color red. I guess that's fitting for the Betty Boot box. Am I thrilled about the color? No. Mm -hmm. Uh, only because I have a few reds and you can only have a few reds because I don't wear them that often. So I would definitely be putting this in the giveaway. It's gorgeous. Gorgeous red. Really pretty too. I don't know if you can see it, but it's sparkly, kind of glittery. I'm hoping you can see that. The value is $20, it says, for the lipstick. A liquid lip. Oh yes, and the Dr. Brandt is worth $79. I'm pulling out something by Jolie. It's a Spectra stick. This is a highlighter and they give you a beauty quiz to fill out when you um, join up so they know what you like, what you don't like, and you also get to do reviews and get points. And you also tell them if you liked it or if you didn't. And I've been doing them every single month. And I have put on there that I have enough highlighters and I rarely want them. So here is the quiz. So you can see I put rarely. So I don't know why they sent that to me. Um, I don't know. But it's pretty. I'm not going to complain. It's beautiful. It's just that I'm older and I don't wear highlighters. I wear them, but I don't wear a lot of it. But this is pretty cool. It's got a really cool packaging. It kind of looks like a lipstick, but it's a little dark for me. One lady I seen unbox this box. She used it as a lip topper and it was really pretty. So I'm not sure if, I'm not gonna swatch it. I may put it in the giveaway or not, I'm not sure. This is pretty cool, it's, the packaging's gorgeous. You push it in and you just you lock it. Tail price for that is $26. Makeup is getting out of hand. Man, people are getting richer and richer by selling this makeup. I've been investigating how to make my own and looking at the different products you use, you buy to make certain makeups. It's pennies on the dollar. But I know it's a business and they have to make money and they have people working for them and you have advertising, you have marketing. So I understand, but I just really think, I don't know. I don't know that much about it and why they market up so much. All I know is very expensive. Enough of me complaining. I want this to be a positive video. All right, the next thing I'm pulling out, I do like. I have their blush palette, which I love. It's by Lovecraft Beauty. Oops, it's their bronzer palette. Okay, I do have, I was gonna bring it down here and I forgot it, but I do have some of their blush on now. But this is their bronzer. So we'll show you that. It's a cardboard um, packaging, which is fine. Has a mirror. I'm gonna go ahead and put some on because I didn't put this on yet. I'm gonna try on the bronzers now. And I'm gonna go ahead and swatch them while I'm at it. I don't know how to pronounce the names, but those are the names. Fingers, go ahead and put my, my wrist. 
That is one swipe. I'm going to do two. I like it that it doesn't look real pigmented at first. You can build it up. But it, it's got nice pigment. And they're very smooth and buttery. So let's go for this. I do contour underneath my chin and neck. Helps a little bit. Can't really camouflage a saggy neck, but I try. I'm gonna grab my, what is this? Real Techniques, big huge bronzer brush. I love this thing. And go ahead and blend that in some more. I'm not doing anything fancy because I'm not going anywhere. So I'm just showing you the color. Okay. Hopefully you can see it. I'm blind. I can't see it right now. I'm trying to put my glasses on. I mean, I can see it, but not real well. Do you like it? I like it a lot. So, that is that. And I'm going to go ahead and tell you what the manufacturer's retail price of that is. And it re manufactured retail price is $30. Last but not least, we got to choose one of our products that we're going to get, and I chose this. It's the Betty Boop eyeshadow palette. I'm really excited about getting this. It's beautiful, beautiful. I've already peeked. This is the outside. Real beautiful black shiny black it's plastic and it has a red lettering it's B it comes with a mirror it has a film over it still and there are the eyeshadows aren't they beautiful at least I think they are they're gorgeous Got my fingers So there are other colors. So there are the swatches on my wrist. All right, I went ahead and did it on this eye, and I'm gonna go ahead and do it on this one. I thought I'd save some time and do one eye first and play around with it. So I'm going to the pink, the lighter pink. Let's see here, can you see? Yeah. I'm gonna just pat it on my eyelid and just up a little bit, just for a base. It's not really pigmented that much at all. I'm finding that you really have to build it up. I'm gonna go ahead and take the a transition shade. Well, I'm gonna use this one here. Do a brush, yeah, that brush. It's the gray, right? I guess it's gray, <laughs> right there. And just put that in my transition. That's why I did the other eye. I'm gonna have to play around with this palette a bit. See if I can get the color payoff. A little more. I'm only using like one, two, three or four shades here anyways. I didn't used to have, you know, these folds in my eyes. My eyes are always real bright and big. But with age, they, they start to sag. So I'm trying to bring my eyes, open them up some more. Hope I'm achieving that. I hope I am. All right, I'm gonna do my crease and go ahead and put it in. Go ahead and use a, the darker purple here. And I am using my Wayne Goss eyeshadow brushes because they can make the worst shadows look really good. At least best they can. So 
I didn't want to take any chances, I grabbed these. I'm putting this in my crease. And I'm gonna bring it around my outer corners. And I've been learning how to do my eye look a little different. I've been learning how to do cut crease, which I'm not gonna do. I don't think I got that down at all. But I got a little bit of halo going on. I'm, I'm learning, I'm learning. I'm watching these younger ladies do it. I don't know if I can pull it off, but I'm playing around. I never go anywhere. Why not? You're my guinea pigs. <laughs> At least, well, you, you get to see me experiment. I do like this color a lot. This this darker purple bat. I love it a lot. It seems to have pretty nice pigment, not too much, but not too little. So I'm happy with that color. Then I'm going to go ahead and blend that out. I'm going to use my, I think it's my Mac. No, it's my Luxie. My Luxie. And go ahead and just blend it out. I tried a couple things, but I ended up doing this. I showed up the best. This bright shimmer purple here. And I, I used my finger. And just pop it in the middle. Right where my eyeball is. <laughs> That's already faded already. Let me pop that on. I don't know if I just went over with another color. Or it literally faded that quick. We'll see. I hope not, because I don't like it when you put eyeshadow on and it just goes away within minutes. Okay, it's this one here I'm gonna grab. darker purple again. Just a little tiny brush. Just first impression. I would never pay $30 for this. It's only eight pans. I wouldn't pay no more than $10 for it. Just saying. It's not horrible. It's just not worthy of that price. I'm just gonna take that darker purple again and just use that as an eyeliner. Lightly. This video's getting long. We're just gonna slap this baby on. If I was gonna go out somewhere, I'd do more, you know, eyeliner and make it look a little more polished, but I'm just playing around with it. For you to show you how it works on my face. I'm gonna add a little more mascara. I did get this Thrive mascara, I believe. Did I get it from Ipsy or BoxyCharm? I don't remember, but man, oh man, ever since I got it, I can't put it down. I love this mascara. My Thrive Cosmetics. Just love it. It doesn't do anything dramatic. It's nice for every day, but it's very conditioning to my eyelashes. Makes them look healthy. If I wanted more volume and length, I would use a different mascara, but this is just great for every day and not abusing your lashes. Non-drying, I'm trying to say. All right, that's good enough. So this is the finished look that I came up with and now that I have it all on, I think it looks nice, it looks pretty. <laughs> Halfway through though, I thought, mm, I don't know, but it did turn out pretty nice, I think. Alright, I'm going to just recap everything real briefly. That particular palette again, the Betty Boop eyeshadow palette. 
$30. The Lovecraft bronzers, $30. Dr. Brent Microdermabrasion, $79. The lip, liquid lip, real her in red is 20 and then the stick highlighter is 26. The grand total of all the products, the manufacturer retail price is 185. And I paid $25 for this box. It does come once a month. The only thing different they did this month with this box is they added a cosmetic bag. So, and there's that's just thrown in for free. And I won't take up any more of your time, but before you leave, I am gonna have a 100 subscriber giveaway, and I'm saving up some products and samples to put in that giveaway. And also, please subscribe. Smash that bell so you know when, when my next video is up. Also comment, and if you don't comment, the rules for the giveaway, which I haven't made that video yet, but I will, you have to talk to me, okay? Or talk to each other. You don't have to talk to me. Just talk to each other if you don't want to talk to me. <laughs> uh, I hope you want to talk to me. But anyway, give this a like, and also share this video. That would help me grow. I need to get to 100 subscribers before I start give this giveaway away. And I have a lot of products that I want, they want homes, they want new homes. So, I bid you a farewell and I'll see you real soon. Bye.